Let's talk about showing the equality of sets using set identities. Suppose I come across an example like this. Use set identities to demonstrate that a minus b union c is equal to a set minus b intersect a set minus c. What I want to do is I want to use my list of set identities to show this equality, which will give me a sequence of equalities. What's happening here is I'm really show doing an operation of uh, logical equivalences. I'm doing the exact same thing. So you want to look at your list of set identities and try to do this, but I'm also going to use a very similar strategy. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to use definitions to remove symmetric differences and set differences. The definition of symmetric difference, A and B, is the union of the difference between A and B and the difference between B and A. And then also, I'm going to say that the difference between A and B is A intersect the complement of B. If I do these steps, then what I end up with is I don't have any set minuses, I don't have any symmetric differences. And what I, all I have are unions, intersections, and complements. And hopefully I can use that to finish up the next, step, the next steps. The second step is I'm going to use De Morgan's Law to push my complements to be directly above sets. And this means that instead of having a complement that covers a union or an intersection, I'm going to push it down a level, flip that uh, union or intersection, and then have my complements one level down. So what I mean is that if I see a complement that's above an intersection, I'm going to use De Morgan's Law to get it to be a complement on each piece of the intersection and then take the union of that. Or if I'm taking the complement over a union symbol, I'll use De Morgan's Law to push the complement on either end, but then flip the union to an intersection. Once I have used De Morgan's Law as much as possible, and my complements are either directly above sets or they're not at all, I'm going to use distributive, commutative, and associative laws to rearrange the terms in such a way that I'm trying to get sets of the same type next to each other or next to their complements. And then finally, I'm going to use idempotent identity domination and complementation laws to collapse like terms. If at all possible, I might need to repeat steps three and four until I feel like I've gotten to a simple level. And what I'm going to do, what this is essentially doing is taking one of my things and getting it into a very, very simple form. It's essentially trying to describe my set in the simplest possible way. However, notice that this will never add back my symmetric differences or set differences. So, for instance, in this example, I could start on the left-hand side and follow these steps, but I will first remove my set difference. I will never get it back to adding these set differences in. So what I need to do is actually apply this method to both sides, and then what I get, I will reverse the proof from the right-hand side once I have a common thing in the middle. So let's see this example and, and see how what I mean. So let's recall, what I want to show is that this set is equal to this set, no matter what my a, b's, and c's are. And I'm going to follow my process, and first I'm going, and I'm going to start on the left-hand side. First I'm going to see I have a set difference here, so I'm going to remove this by replacing it with the definition. So I know that these two things are equal because that's just what the definition of set difference is doing. But now I see I have a complement that's above a union, so I'm going to use De Morgan's Law to move that further down. So now I have De Morgan's Law, and now if I see this, I see that this there's a, a, an intersection on both sides, and that just commutes and associates, so I'm just going to remove my parentheses. So now I see exactly one instance of each set A, B, and C. All of my complements are directly above my sets, and I don't have any combinations of unions or intersections to do anything distributive. So let's try the right-hand side and see what happens. When I'm on the right-hand side, I'm going to see that I have two set differences, so I'm going to replace them by using the definition. So applying the definition of set difference, I see that I have A intersect B complement, intersect A intersect C complement. I don't have to do anything with De Morgan's Law here, which is rather nice, but I do see that I have uh, three intersections, and I can rearrange as I want. So I'm going to use associativity and the commutativity to get what I want. By associative and commutative laws, I see that this set is equal to A intersect A intersect the complement of B intersect the complement of C. And I've gotten my A's close to each other, which means now I can use my idempotent law to say that the A intersect A is equal to A. And now I com collapsed these like terms of A and A, and I put them into here. And now I see that this set is equal to this set, which means that if I want to start with the left-hand side and move down, I can start using these steps backwards. So what I'm going to do is to go from here to here over on this side. And therefore, I've completed my argument. If I see just everything that's over here, I've gone from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, using set identities and definitions, and everything works out. I get to show that I have equalities as I wanted, but I used my strategy starting from the left-hand side getting to something simple, and starting on the right-hand side getting to something simple, and I took this argument, reversed it, to get me what I wanted here.